mean, Coach, we, we kind of look at a, of the last couple of matches as a whole. In some sets, you guys are right there. And yeah. then, then there's a couple points that separate you. Is there something you guys have to focus on to kind of, I guess, close, close out the set when you get there? Yeah, you know, um, yes, obviously there are areas we have to get better at. Um, you know, and really what it comes down to is it's, you know, it falls on me to find a way to get them as prepared as they possibly can be. You know, and even though, you know, I have felt like we're doing the right things in the gym to prepare, it's just not translating to success on the floor. So um, we have to continue to rethink uh, our strategies, our approach uh, in practice, our lineups and matches. Um, all those things need to be in the forefront because what we're doing right now is like, is completely unacceptable, right? Like, like there is an expectation that this program is going to win. Um, it's, you know, we do a lot of other things the right way, right? Off the floor, we, we do a lot of great things and we're great students and all that stuff. But that's not going to cover what we need to do, which is to win. And, and so uh, we're doing everything we can. We're not, we're not, you know, pretending that this is okay. You know, I got on the bus Saturday after we lost to Parkside and I said, this is not okay. I am not okay with this. And I understand that people have these athletes have lives outside of this, right? They have school, they have social lives, they have things. This is what I live, right? And so when we're losing the way we're losing right now, like I am <laughs> I'm worried I'm going to have to go to the hospital at some point because my stomach is in so many knots every night, you know, and, um, but it's part of the, it, it's, it's what I signed on for, right? And, and tough times um, are here and we have to find our way through. And, and the one thing I can say is I, I believe this group wants to get better. Like, I don't think they're okay with what's happening. And so um, we just have to keep plugging away. But yeah, yeah, something has to change, right? And it's, um, it starts from the top and it starts with me. And so uh, I've been doing everything in my power over the last week to continue to make this team better, to understand how they can be better and, and to pump them up, right? You don't want to live in this spiral of negativity and toxicity because that only feeds into what's happening, right? You have to find a way to break that cycle. You know, as simple as like last night, I told them, guys, if you're in a, if you're in a routine every day and you're not feeling fulfilled in that routine, um, which I kind of was, right? I wake up, come to work, go to practice, put my kid down, make dinner, hang out, watch football or something, you know? Um, so last night I just took my dog for a walk for a while. I was just like, guys, we have to do things to break these habits that we've created both on and off the floor. And so we're in that process and uh, it's, it's been very difficult and um, I am not super fired up about the way we've been performing in those matches, but, but ultimately we just have to be better. And tonight is one of those opportunities to be better and, and show, cause we have the talent. You can't look at the people we put on the floor and say, these teams are incapable, this team is incapable of winning. It's not it. We got to find a way to dig deep, get some confidence, get some belief and start, start winning matches. Cause, uh, that's where we belong is at the top, not where we are right now. What are your thoughts on the matches going into this weekend? Uh, Ferris and Lake State. Ferris is undefeated. They've been uh, perennially the best team in the conference, with the exception of when we uh, stole that crown um, a couple years ago. Um, and they're doing the same things. They have turnover in their roster. Every time the season ends, you're like, oh, they graduated this, this, and this. They're probably not going to be there. And then they just keep bringing teams in and their players in and finding that success. And their coach has done a, a tremendous job of that. Um, and then you have Lake State, another UP kind of rivalry. Um, their coach has done some nice things. They're playing really inspired volleyball. They uh, went down and beat uh, Wayne State on their floor last weekend in five. Um, and so we expect, and, and their coach told me explicitly that they get more fired up to play us than anybody else. And so um, we have to be ready for that. And, 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 you know, they have a right side, number eight, who can really put the ball away in a middle and their setter has won setter of the week in the last two weeks. So. They're not, they're no slouches, right? Like we've known all these teams as these kind of like teams that have hovered around the bottom and they're now raising their compete and we have to raise ours with it. And so uh, I'm looking forward to being at home again uh, and um, getting an opportunity to play in front of our home crowd and get some, some momentum that way.